We have a passion for understanding life and not just the origin of life, but the way that life evolved and the way that life works. The genetic code regulates how genes are used to make proteins, and this is the basis for life. So through the analysis of the genetic code, we want to understand how life appeared, how life evolved, and also understand all the pathological effects that problems in the system of protein synthesis generate. So in the last five years, we've made uh, two relevant discoveries about the way that the code and protein synthesis is integrated within the whole complexity of the cell. The first discovery has to do with a protein that we've called SLIM. So this protein is important for making sure that the process of making proteins is in tune with the process of energy production in cells. The processing of genetic information in the cell requires the transfer of this information from the nucleus in the center of the cell to the outside of the cell, the cytosol, where proteins are made. How these two compartments of the cell and the information is coordinated is the center of the research that we're doing in our second project. A key element in the coordination of this transfer of information between the nucleus and the cytosol is an enzyme called ADAT. We think that the role of ADAT is important to ensure that the process of making proteins in the cytosol is made without errors and at the rate that the circumstances of the cell require at any specific time. Many human diseases are caused by defects in the generation of proteins. We hope that through the analysis of the function of ADAT, we'll be able to better understand and perhaps find solutions to some of these diseases. I brought a, a night vision device. This is essentially a photon detector connected to an infrared illuminator that is used to watch objects at night. And I use it because wildlife watching is one of my hobbies. And I also think that it's a good symbol of what we do in the lab. We try to find out what's in the dark with whatever means we can find to discover new stuff. <laughs> <laughs>